Hello everyone, welcome to Tips for iOS. I'm Ellen Sweeney, and in this episode, I'd like to show you how to use Apple's AirDrop function. If you're using an iPhone or iPad, just swipe up from the bottom of the device to launch the control center. Check to make sure that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are active. You don't need to be on a Wi-Fi network. You just need Wi-Fi to transfer. Now locate AirDrop and tap on it. Your options are to turn receiving off, which means you turn AirDrop off, contacts only. This requires a little more work because you and the party that you want to AirDrop with both have to be logged into your individual iCloud accounts and be in each other's contacts. The last option, which is the easiest, is everyone. I'll go ahead and choose everyone. Now that we have AirDrop set up, let me show you how to use it. Find the file that you want to share. It can be a photo, a note, a contact, or a website in Safari. So I am going to find a photo. In my photos app and I'm going to tap on the share button which looks like a little box with an arrow coming out of it and when I do this you'll see that some options show up my iPad shows up where it says tap to share with airdrop or my iMac shows up so once I've selected the photo you'll see a check mark next to it and you'll see the devices with which you can share it. Just tap on the device that you want to share it with and they'll receive it. Files sent through AirDrop will typically appear in the app that handles those files. So a photo will show up in the Photos app, Notes in the Note app, and Contacts in the Contacts app. Now let's look at how you receive an AirDrop. When someone sends you a photo or a file, it will appear on your home screen and you will be able to accept or decline. So if you receive something from someone you don't know, you can decline it. And once I accept it, it will automatically go into my Photos app. If you decide you want to block AirDrop, tap on Settings, tap on general, scroll down to restrictions, and if uh, the restrictions are turned off, tap on enable restrictions, put in your passcode, re-enter your passcode, and then go ahead, find AirDrop, and turn it off. If you're having trouble with AirDrop, here are a few suggestions. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to enter the control center. Tap on AirDrop, and then tap on Receiving Off. Tap on AirDrop again, and tap on Everyone. Do this several times, and sometimes that will fix the problem. While you're in the Control Center, you can turn Bluetooth off and on several times, and also turn Wi-Fi off and on several times, and that may fix your problem. If you're still having trouble with AirDrop, try resetting your device. Hold the Home button and the Power button together until the Apple logo appears. If you're using an iPhone 7, you'll need to hold the Power button and the Up or Down Volume button until the Apple logo appears. And then the last thing you can try is resetting your network settings. So to do that, you'll need to go to Settings, General, Scroll all the way to the bottom until you see Reset, tap on Reset, and then tap on Reset Network Settings. You'll need to enter your passcode, and then once you do, you'll hit Reset Network Settings, and hopefully that will, will fix your problem. One caveat that you'll need to know when using AirDrop is that you need to be in close proximity to the person that you want to share your files or photos or contacts with. You know, at least be within 10 feet of them and you shouldn't have any problems, you know, sharing things across AirDrop. It's a great way to share photos when someone asks you, hey, can you share that photo with me? 
And if they're right there, it's the easiest way to share it. And it goes right into the Photos app. You don't have to download it from your messaging app. You know, it's just a great way to share photos if you're within close proximity. I hope you found this video useful. I'm Ellen Sweeney, and I'll see you next time on Tips for iOS.